Haleluya. Nataka tuangalie neno la Bwana katika matendo ya mitume sura ya 8. And something that the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me. Na nashukuru Bwana sita sita soma sana lakini wacha tuisome tu tuelewe lakini taisoma kwa haraka haraka. Acts of Apostles chapter 8 tuanzie verse 1. Wacha tuanzie verse 4 juu hapa kati. Therefore those who are scattered went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to a city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the people with one mind gave attention to the things Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voices, came out of many that had been possessed by them. And many were healed who had who had been paralyzed and lame and there was great joy in that city bwana asifiwe but there was a certain man named Simeon nataka sasa tusikize vizuri but there was a certain man named Simeon who had been practicing witchcraft in that city amazing people of Samaria and claiming that he was someone great they all from the least to the greatest gave him the attention some attention saying this man is a great power of god and they held him in high regard because for a long time he had amazed them with the magic arts sema amen nataka I want to give you a picture of Samaria. Samaria was a city of revival. Mkikumbuka katika John chapter 4, wakati Yesu aliingia katika muji wa Samaria, the Bible says, "I meet the woman." Na umwangalia sana that muji wa Samaria. In John chapter 4, inaeleza ya nani alikuwa amefunga Samaria during the time of Jesus. Bila nasema kulikuwa na mwanamke mmoja aliyekuwa amekamata waume wa watu. So ni kumaanisha kwamba in time of Jesus Samaria ilikuwa imefukwa na maraho za usherati. Na that stronghold Bibi inasema when that woman encountered Jesus. Bibi inasema kwamba mchi wote, sema mchi wote ukamwedea Yesu. There was a great revival in Samaria. Sema amen. Sasa Yesu amekufa amefufuka na ameita biguni. Hii wakati wa disciples some years back tunaona tena Samaria. Na Biblia inasema this time Samaria kuna mchamaa anaitwa Simeon na ni mchawi. Na Biblia inasema he had taken over Samaria. Alikuwa ameshika Samaria na uchawi. Na Biblia inasema mpaka watoto kwa wase watu wote walimuamini watu wote walimwelekea mpaka akapewa jina wakasema this is a great power of god kumaanisha kwamba he had taken over kuvu zenye zilikuwa zinadhibitika ule wakati wa Samaria ni kuvu za uchawi watu wangetaka biashara siendelee walikuwa wanaenda kwa Simeoni Watu wangetaka droa sao zisimame walikuwa wanaenda kwa Simeoni. Simeoni ndiye alikuwa na ganga, alikuwa ameganga the whole city of Samaria. But I thank God, sema I thank God. Kwa sababu wakati Mungu aliona ule mji mwenye ulikuwa ameweka revival, mchawi amechukua, aliamrisha solo achukue kipoko. Akagoka wanafunzi, watu wote walikuwa katika Jerusalem wakakuwa scattered. And the Bible says Philip akashuka Samaria. Sema akashuka Samaria. Na Biblia inasema kwamba alipofika mahala pale, listen, sasa watu wa Samaria tumaini lao lote lilikuwa ni witchcraft. Tumaini lao lote lilikuwa ni nguvu za giza. But when Philip went to Samaria, nashukuru neno la Bwana. Biblia inasema kwamba wakati alishuka Samaria Philip went down to the city of Samaria. What did he do? He preached Christ. He preached
preached Christ. Aliwahubiria Kristo. Bana asifiwe. Mimi nasema kwamba and the people with one mind gave attention to the things that Philip spoke. Hearing and seeing. Sema kusikia na kuona. So ichiri bwana asifiwe ndio ilete mabadiliko watu wakisikia lazima waone. Ah salimia jirani yako mwele lazima tuhame kwa ijiri ya kusikia peke yake na pia tuingie ijiri ya kuona sema amen na bibi inasema ni nini watu waliona kitu cha kwanza mapepo wachafu wakitoka halo kitu cha pili nini waliona watu ambao walikuwa wagonjwa wakipona sema amen kitu cha tatu ni nini watu waliona Bibi inasema kwamba wale virema na viwete wakitembea. Semeni amen. Haleluya. Sasa bibi inaeleza huyu mtu. Bibi inasema wakati Philip eh, sasa twende verses 12. Philip amehubiri hiyo mambo yote imefanyika. Kuvu za Simioni hazingetoa mapepo. Nguvu za Simioni hazingezetembesa viwete. Na bibi inasema wakati Filipo alikuwa na ubiri Simioni alikuwa na akalia. Na bibi inasema nini ilifanyika? But when they believed Philip, he preached things concerning the kingdom and the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. They were baptized both men and women. Sema 13. Sema ni 13. Then Simeon Hallelujah. Ah, so many verses 13 kila mtu. Tusome hizi zote. Then Simeon himself believed and when he was baptized, he stayed close to Philip and was astonished. Mukaka sasa ako chini ya nani? Ya Philip. Na Philip hakuwa disciple, Philip alikuwa ni mshirika wa kanisa la Jerusalem. Sema amen lakini mchawi amekaa chini yake anasikiza na kutazama yale mambo Filipo alikuwa anafanya sema amen inasema kwamba he stayed close to Philip and was astonished seeing the miracles and the signs which were done sema amen ninaomba wachawi watakaa chini yako wakiona chenye Mungu anafanya kupitia kwa wewe Sema amen. Mimi pasta nimekataa hii maombi ya kuua wachawi. Filipo alishuka Samaria. Wachawi wakasikiza ijiri wakasareta. In the Bible katika New Testament hakuna mahali wachawi waliuawa. Tunaona wachawi wakiokoka. Tunaona watu wakileta vitu zikichomwa kwa crusade. Lakini kuna ijiri ya kuchoma wachawi na kuwaua. Mimi siwezi Sema amen. You know let me tell you about authority. Mungu hajatupea authority over a person. He gives us authority over the spirit that is working in that person. The spirit that was working in Samaria was the spirit of witchcraft. Na Philip alikuwa na authority over that spirit. And when he came, Simeon alikuwa ni mtu mzuri. Sema amen. Ni roho fulani ilikuwa anafanya kazi ndani yake. Sasa nataka muangalie Philip sasa ah, na ni Simon bwana asifiwe. Aha tumevika verses what? 20 sasa. Eh yeah, tuko verses. Haya twende verses 14. Now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God they sent to them Peter and John who when they arrived prayed for them that they might receive the holy spirit hapa ndio sasa kila kitu nataka muangalie so that they may receive the holy spirit sema the holy spirit as yet they had not come down on them they had only been baptized in the name of the lord jesus then they they laid hands on them and they received the holy spirit 18 abia jirani yako sasa hapa ndio kila kitu And when Simon hallelujah 
And when Simon saw, amekuwa mshirika sasa. Na anaangalia. Anaangalia venye Filipo anaponya watu. Anaangalia venye mapepo zinatoka. Anaangalia venye viweta wanatepea simioni. Amekaa pale. Anajiuliza maswali. Ni nini kinafanya watu wapone? Ni nini kinafanya mapepo sitoke? Nilikuwa na gufu nikashangaza Samaria. Sai niko chini ya Philip. I must know the secret. Lazima nijue siri ya hii mambo ni nini. Inasema mitume wakaja wakaekelea watu mikono wakachazwa na Holy Spirit. Najua wakati Philip alikuwa na ubiri, alikuwa na nena na ruga. Labda alikuwa anaona Philip akisema lima zeka rabo shanda. Anaekelea wakaja wa mikono wanasimama. Alikuwa anaona Philip akisema ripo shanda kata. Vitu zinafanyika. Hasa Philip Simeon alikuwa anajiuliza hii kitu jamaa naokea vitu zinafanyika what is it na mimi ndio mambo ifanyike lazima nifanye ugaga lazima nipike boho lazima nifanye vitu nyingi kuna process mingi sana niwashe mishuma lazima nifanye vitu sakarakasi what is the secret bibi inasema wakati mitume walikuja wakaekelea watu mikono wakachaswa na the holy spirit akaona wanaokea kama fili anasema haya haya hapa ndio siri iko. Haleluya. Akasema namna gani tusome. Amen. And when Simeon saw that through the rain on the rain on the of the apostles hands the holy spirit was given he offered money saying give me also this power so that everyone on whom I lay hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Yaani hakuwa naongea juu ya the Holy Spirit. Haikuwa anasema sasa ile kakufu kenye niliona kwa Philip, kumbe siri yake ni Holy Spirit. Akaambia Peter, how much is the Holy Spirit? How much? Sema ime. Hiyo ndio siri. Sikia Peter, Peter akamwambia, you are man perish with you because you thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money you have neither part nor share in this kuna mambo mengi mara pale sema amen father i thank you for your word i pray as we speak this word open the hearts of your people may to name be a turnaround of our lives in jesus mighty name i pray sema amen hiyo mambo nimeyaokea ningetaka kuokea to the church especially in the dispensation yenye tu bwana asifi wapendwa let me tell you kama kuna jambo ambalo shetani amepigana nalo kwa kanisa ni assumption of the holy spirit sema amen sema assumption watu wame wamekosa kumuelewa Roho Mtakatifu kiwango ya kwamba hawajui dhamana yake ama udhamana wake but i want to bring to you to attention kwa mtachache sana about the holy spirit na ndio tuelewe hivi ndio nimewapia picha ya Simeon somebody from ametoka from witchcraft but he had a quick mind ya kuelewa the value ya holy spirit Ninaongea katika dimension ya Simeon. Yeye wakati aliona what the Holy Spirit can do, he was led to offer money to buy that power. He was led to kuuza kila kitu apart the Holy Spirit. Sema amen. Ina ina mkono wako sema the Holy Spirit. Sikizeni watu wa Mungu saa hii kwa kanisa mambo ya Roho Mtakatifu iliyotoka watu wengi mambo ya Roho Mtakatifu hawataki sema ni amen watu kuongea na lugha saa hii imekuwa ni aibu watu vipawa za Roho Holy Spirit kufanya kazi imekuwa listen to me the really purpose of the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ it was all about the Holy Spirit 
Amen. Amen. Mimi wakati nilielewa mambo ya Roho Mtakatifu niliacha mchezo. Na wacheni niwaambie Holy Spirit is not a respecter of man. Bana asifiwe. Biblia inasema kwamba si tasoma kwa sababu ya wakati. Lakini Yesu akaambia wanafunzi wake, "Tale hii in Jerusalem until you are enclosed by the power from on high." Matendo ya mitume moja mstari wa 8 tuunganishe na hiyo Bwana asifiwe. Alafu sasa ni ni sema point 3 ini anafu tuombe. Bwana asifiwe jioni tutaendelea na mambo hayo mengine. Biblia inasema kwamba Acts 1:8 But ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. What shall you receive? What shall you receive? What does the Bible say? You shall receive power. Alurudia tena you shall receive power. When shall you receive power? When shall you receive power? utapokea nguvu wakati roho mtakatifu atakapokuja juu yako so if you shall receive power when the holy spirit comes so if you say you have power it means you have the holy spirit so holy spirit is equal to the power sema amen nasema biblia imesema utapokea nguvu wakati roho mtakatifu atakuja juu yako kumaanisha mahali roho mtakatifu ako kuna nguvu kumaanisha kwamba roho mtakatifu is the same as the power of god so the holy spirit is equal to the power tunamuona wakati philip ameenda kuhubiri wakati alikuwa anaongea maneno yake yalikuwa na nguvu na hizo nguvu ni nguvu za roho mtakatifu na tuliona zikidhihirisha watu wakipona mambo ikifanyika sema amen wacheni niwaambie why we are not able to kupata ufunuo wa holy spirit waje niwape kuna kuna sijui ni hapa nilikuwa ninahubiri nikawaambia tuko katika dispensation ya kizazi yani ile era yenye tuko tuko katika kizazi ambacho hakina, hakina ufahamu wa holy spirit bana asifiwe na ukiangalia history ima kanisa zetu za kiroho baada tunasema za kiroho hazikuwa zikiwa za kiroho lakini kanisa la kwanza liliasa likuwa la kiroho ikafika mahali church ikakuwa persecuted tukaingia dispensation kanisa za kiroho zikaisha then hapo ndio tunaona kanisa zile zikine zikianza kuinuka makanisa ile ingine ya kawaida ikainuka wale watu wakati ule ichiri ilikuwa inahubiriwa watu walikuwa wanaambua twedeni kanisa tukalisikize neno la Mungu sema amen walikuwa wanasema namna gani we are going to the church to hear the word sema to hear so hiyo ilikuwa inaitwa generation of hearers asalimia jirani yako amwambie kizazi cha kusikia Watu walikuwa wanaenda kanisani wanasema tunaenda kufanya nini kusikia neno la Mungu. Kila mtu tunaenda kusikia neno. Nafikiria hapa kuna hiyo generation mlitoka hizo makanisa. Praise be to God. Hazikuwa baya. Sema amen. But at that moment watu walikuwa wanaenda kusikia. So wakasikia, sema wakasikia. Sema wakasikia. Walikuwa nasikia nini? Neno la Mungu. Na neno la Mungu linaeleza Mungu lina explain god so wakaanza kusikia mungu ako na uwezo wa kuponya wakasikia mungu anaweza ponya kanza mungu anaweza fanya miujiza mungu vile hata walitepea wakasikia then it allows another generation wakasema hii yote ambayo tumesikia wacha tuifanyishe kazi sema amen wakaanza kuobea wagonjwa wagonjwa wakaanza kupona wakaanza ku, ku, kukemea pepo pepo zinatoka wala watu wa kusikia wakaanza kupersecute watu wa kufanya nini wa kutendesha neno walilolisikia kazi hasa hapo ndio tukakuwa na kitu kinaitwa pentecostal yani watu wa pentecostal ni watu ambao ni wasikiaji na watendeshaji kazi neno sema amen So wala watu ambao walianza kutendesha neno sasa wakabadilisha 
na wakatunga wimbo wakaanza kuambia watu sasa jioni muone hata tukaanza kuiba wimbo ulikuwa unasemaje okai muone kurusedi za siku hizo hazikuwa hadithi ilikuwa kucheni muone watu wagonjwa wanapangishwa raini wanaanza kupona tukaingia a generation ya kudhibitisha na kuonyesha ah sije kama unaelewa hiyo ndio wakati ambapo watu walikuwa na rara forest ukiangalia historia of our fathers watu kama kina idahosa bana asifiwe ni watu walikuwa wanaenda kwa, kwa mkutano hawaokei wanasema you have had enough nimekuja sasa kudhibitisha chenye mumesikia wanapanga vile maraini sema amen habia jirani yako generation ya kuonyesha sema kizazi cha kuonyesha ah sema kizazi cha kuonyesha sasa unaona kizazi cha kwanza kilikuwa nini cha kufanya nini cha kufanya nini cha kusikia haya kizazi hiki kingine ni cha kufanya nini kufanyisha kazi chenye wamefanya nini wamesikia sema amen sasa shida imekuja nini sasa kuna hybrid <laughs> sema amen hiyo kizazi sasa cha miujiza hicho kizazi chenye watu walikuwa wanaendaga kanisa kama uko na pepo ungeingia kanisa umefanya dhambi roho wa Mungu alikuwa anakuona ungeingia kanisa umejichafua yani mahali pa Bwana hiyo ndio wakati we are standing on the holy cloud the cloud became holy hiyo ni kizazi mtu angeingia mahali kivuri chake kinaleta mabadiliko but we have come now to another dispensation ya yeah, the mixture habia jirani yako kizazi sasa chenye tuko sema amen shida ilitokea wapi hiki kizazi kenye kilikuwa kinasema kucheni muone that generation olede walikuwa wamesikia sasa walikuwa wanatendesha kazi chenye walisikia na wenye kuona tayari walikuwa wamefanya nini wamesikia so it was easy watu kupona it was easy watu kupokea miujiza maana walikuwa wamesikia na sasa hao wanakuja kuambia chenye biblia imeadikwa sema amen hapo ndio message cha the bible says ilitoka because it was a season of confirmation sema ni amen halu ninaomba bwana unajua message sitatoka kwa point yenye ulinipea raise the winners Sema amen. Raising winners. You cannot raise winners ambao wako katika kizazi cha mchanganyiko. So we are in a dispensation ambao watu wamesikia jana niliogea message mzuri sana juu ya Ephraim. Ya kwamba Ephraim ni keki isiyopikwa upande wote. Acha hivyo. We have a generation in the church ambayo haijaiva. Inajua information nusu nusu. There is no purity of the gospel. Lakini nasikia Bwana akisema, the season now to bring clarity of the word of God imefika. Ah, sema ni amen. So tuko katika kizazi ambacho kinasikia juu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Matendo yake hata akijui, everything to them is suspicious. Bwana asifu. Sasa hata ukiuliza mtu huyu mtumishi ni wa Mungu ama sijui hata wanatumia nini how do you know a right mtu ni mtu wa Mungu ama sio mtu wa Mungu the generation that is confused but i thank god the kanisa linarudi katika msingi wake sema amen hallelujah let me give you example with jesus wakati yesu alikuja duniani alikaa na wanafunzi wake miaka mitatu na nusu kabla ya jazo na the holy spirit three and a half years the first university ilikuwa ni ya Yesu ilikuwa inaitwa Jesus University Salimia mwanzo wako mwambie Jesus University Salimia vizuri tingiza yeye mwambie wewe umeshaienda hii shule Sema amen if you are a disciple of Christ then minimum years unaweza kaa 
chini ya mafundisho ni miaka 3 na nusu Muulize when did you come to Bible study last Muulize vizuri when ni siku gani ya mwisho ulikuja Bible study Muulize ni siku gani ya mwisho ulisoma Biblia Bwana asifiwe Muulize vizuri Unajua tu jana tuliokea maneno juu ya Ifrim Yaani Ifrim Biblia inasema kwamba atimpaka nywele nyeupe imetokea na ndani ya menya Sema amen. Yaani umeseka lakini uelewi wewe ni nani? Sema amen. Jesus took three and a half years kufundisha wanafunzi wake. Na alikuwa anakaa na wao na wafundisha. Anawaambia niki alikuwa anawaambia sasa mimi ni unajua in the time of Jesus wanafunzi wao walikuwa na roho. Ama walikuwa na roho. Ai, wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa na majazo na the Holy Spirit walikuwa na roho but they had the presence Jesus himself was present na tunasemaga Mungu ako hapa maana Mungu akiwa hapa vitu lazima zifanyike so Jesus was present with him the presence of God was with them but the holy spirit had not fallen upon them so kwa miaka 3 na nusu walikuwa wanafundishwa what to do when the power came so walikuwa wanaambiwa nyinyi Kufu zikikucha mkienda mahali mtu wamekufa mtafanya hivi wanaonyeshwa mkienda mahali watu wakocha na wana chakula there is a way to kutengeneza factory ya mikate eh, by the way nilikuwa naangalia mimi ile mujiza yenye pasta imenishakaza niyo ya mikate all the other miracles by the way mimi nimeona viweta wakitembea vipofu wakiona hiyo sio kitu factory ya mikate yeye inatoa mikate ya watu 1500 salimia jirani yako muulize wewe una believe Mungu kwa factory yo <laughs> sema amen yani mtu wa kwanza kutengeneza mkate ya Broadway ilikuwa ni Yesu yani Yesu alikuwa anawafundisha wanafunzi wake in me you are complete yani mimi nikuwa ndani yenu you are complete Yeye ni kwa ndani yenu mnaweza make factory. Sema amen. Hata Central Bank ya kwanza ni Yesu alitengeneza. Siku moja wameenda wameshikwa na kanjo. Wewe sio kwanza kushikwa na kanjo. Yesu alishikwa. Kashikwa na kanjo. Pita kwa sababu ya kuwa natakaka maneno miki. <laughs> Sema amen. Akajua kimeumana. Yesu akamwambia nani ataenda kutega samaki pita akajua nani yeye wacha niende ndio mkishikwa mimi ni siku yako akaambia kabla ujaenda sikiza nataka uende ushike samaki fungua mdomo utapata pesa Jesus could practice a miracle of money Unajua hivi vitu zenye ninaokea kama ungekuwa katika Jesus angekuwa kwa TV amungeenda church yake Tuongee ukweli wacha ni tuongee ukweli. Watu wangapi Yesu angekuwa kwa TV mungeenda hiyo church? Amungeenda. Yaani Yesu anatema mate, anashika matope, anabandika mtu kwa macho. Nani anaweza kubali pastor yenu amtemee mate hapa? Hapa, nani anaweza kubali? Sema amen. That was a miracle. Hivyo ndivyo Yesu alikuwa anafanya. Anaenda mazishi Anakuta mtu amekufa ule msimama wa naini anaguza chenesa on the process watu wangapi mnaweza guza chenesa kwa mazishi mwambie pastor simama but Jesus could demonstrate to his disciples na anawaambia sema amen anawaambia when the holy spirit comes the things i do in John 14:12 mambo ambayo ninayoyafanya hayo mambo na nyinyi mtayafanya na zaidi kuliko hayo ah oh, sema amen then listen to me for three years how watu walijionea impossibilities zikifanyika possibilities na pita ilifika kiwango akashawishika Sema amen. Wakati Yesu alikuwa anaotoka akawaambia, "It is for your good I go now. It is for your 
good I go now because Yesu mpaka hakuna jera angewekwa. Baka maskari awange mshika. Bila sema siku moja walikuja wakamzunguka wote. Yaani kila mtu anajua yoyo ha, watu 10 wote wakakuja kushika hivi wakashika hewa. Kuangalia hivi wanamkuta huko Kahawa West. Anasema blessed are those. <laughs> yaani anahubiri hata ha, sema amen. Ninaamini hiyo ndio kiwango kanisa linaeta. Sema amen. Uh, sema amen. Yaani askari wanakuja kuna jamaa mmoja alikuja kushikwa na askari Mungu akamuongeza uzito wakajibu kuinua eh hey, hivi askari ni kitu ya kabisa askari wanakuja kushika hey, hivi longi na raruka askari wakaona eh hey. akaji akaondoa hiyo uzito akaweka kwa radrova ya polisi ina inagurumishwa inakwama inatereza wanaweka kia na ni pasta kwa hapo ndani akitoka gari inaenda that is the level wapendo wajani ni wambie wacha kufuka macho ni kwa sababu huko umesikia hiyo maneno ndio unashaka lakini kanisa la kwanza walisikia wakasikia wakasikia wakasema the season now imefika chenye tumesikia kiaza kufanya kazi na ndio Filipo alishuka Samaria akasema mume hopa wagaka mume okay juu ya shetani muta mrefu i've come to preach the gospel of the risen christ sahi ijiri zenye zinahubiriwa ni za mashetani sema amen yani watu shuhuda sao sote ni shetani ni watu wana watu wanawekwa uoga ati kuna watu wanaitwa ilimunati kuna watu sijua ati kuna muganga wa peba ha, sema hivi siku moja ilikuwa na ubiri mali inaitwa rokchogyo dada moja akakuja kutoka kutoka southern sudan wale ambao wanajeshi wa koni unajua koni ule mwenye alikuwa wa uganda resistance army mwana mustana amekuwa recruited recruited for many years amemea kitiuma kimemshika ametokea kwa forest kimembeba kinamuumiza so wakati alikuja akaunganika na wana watu wa pale wakamwambia kuna pastor anakuanga na revival meeting nilikuwa na healing service kila wednesday kamwambia kuna mchukaji kwa pale na tumeona watu vipofu wakiona tumeona viwete wakitepea amen ule mama kuna mambo matatu aliyokea alisema kunaga Mungu the first thing she said hakuna Mungu because walikuwa wamefanywa witchcraft do you know koni wale ambao wajui ni ya kwamba askari walikuwa wanakuja wa Uganda wana surround the whole place wakienda hawampati hata vita zenye uzote mnaonanga zikifanywa they are spiritual people depends on powers ilibidi kanisa kina kayanja ndio walienda wakambia Moseven hii vita umepigana many years wao ndio waliikia caves zenye koni walikuwa wakamwaga mafuta hao watu wakaenda Sudan hata watu mnasikia sijui ngombe zinaibagwa wanapelekwa wanajeshi na makatapira umeshaisikia zimeisha those people they have their priest there is where they derive their powers vita sio vita Sema amen. Ni wewe tu unapiganana tu hivyo vita. Vita sio vita. Na Mungu anaajiria mpaka anointing kama ya kina Elisha. Elisha anaenda barracks ya wanajeshi. Anasema, "Hoi! Watu wanasema ndio hiyo adui wetu." Anasema, "Watu wanakuwa vipofu." Sasa hii watu wanatumia tomahawk. Wanatumia vifaru nasikia one value ya toma ile missile moja ni milioni moja na nusu hiyo missile kukoka chini hivi ni 1.5 million kumalisha jeshi la Syria Elisha by the power of the Holy Spirit anachukua wanajeshi wote kama wale Hamas wachukuliwe tu unawaleta bere ya Israeli unawapatia Netanyahu naambia ya ya siku moja peke yake. Yeye anasema hiyo ndio dimension kanisa linaenda kuikia. 
Sema amen. Ndivyo walishikwa na Elisha. Wakapeleka. So ule msichana alikuja akasema hakuna Mungu nawezi yamini Mungu. So akakuja kwa hii in service. Nilikuwa ninaongea mara pale. The Holy Spirit spoke to me. Akaniambia kuna mtu wako mara hapa, ako na tumor na ameshikilia tumbo umekwe. Ah, ule msichana alikuwa hapo the power of God ilimgonga kwa ile kikitu mara moja pa hiyo kikitu ikaisha the growth ikaisha akajaribu kushika hivi akapiga nduru tatu akauliza what is happening imeenda it is gone she came and knelt down and gave her life to Jesus sema amen So ile jambo linishangaza ni kwamba alikuwa na kazini yake walikuwa wamekuja pale Lokcho huyo kufukua blaji ya uchawi. <laughs> Kijana alikuwa amekuja kufukua blaji ya uchawi na alikuwa ameenda huko amefanywa uganga jua hiyo kikitu akuwa kikimetoka. So jioni akaenda kwa ule kijana akamwambia wewe sote tuende mahali fulani kuna jamaa kuna gufu tofauti. There is a certain power there. So they came to the meeting. Ule jamaa alipokuja kwa meeting, hajui namna gani alijipata amekula chini. The power skira kitu amelewa. Aligonga chini akajaswa na the Holy Ghost mchawi. Sema amen. Do you know what happened? Baada ya hiyo, alifanya yeye ndiye alikuwa ananifulia kuwa niliweka huyo mchawi kwangu for two weeks. Nikifanya discipleship. Ndiye alikuwa ananifulia nguo, ananibrushia viatu hapo ndiye alinipea story akaniambia baba, baba yake kule Kampala ni muganga mpaka kwao huko muganga baba yake hawarudishagi chei hakuna duka ya cheji ukienda na pesa kama ni elfu moja wanakongaga mawe there is a way wanakonga mawe cheji narudi lakini akakuwa mwanafunzi wangu sema amen that is how the holy spirit is yesu akawaambia huyu roho chenye ninafanya Ah sema amen. Chenye ninafanya huyu roho akikuja mtafanya kama venye ninavyofanya na zaidi kuliko venye ninavyofanya. Sema amen. And that's why he told them tale ye in Jerusalem mpaka mchaswe na kufu maana wakati roho wa Bwana atakapokuja mtachaswa na kufu. Sema amen. So kinapita wakati Yesu alienda walikuwa na wasiwasi akawaambia sikizeni sitawaacha kama mayatima lakini huyu roho ako ndani yangu nitaenda kwa baba akuche ndani yenu na chenye ninafanya mtafanya hivi na saidi so wakati Yesu alienda akawaambia edeni Jerusalem munikoche huko wakati walienda do you know why people prayed wale watu siku wanasema Pentecost ni 50 ama sijui ni gapi those days they were there bibili sema they prayed in one accord yani maombi yakinapita ha huyu mwadhani ninaopa huyu roho akuche wakienda break half time baada ya maombi wanakaa na kina John kwa miti sasa wewe John Lord akikuja utafanyaje <laughs> wewe acha unaona ile kiwete yako pale kwa keti practical na power hapo ndio nitaenda sema amen u sema amen wakaokea pita anasema wewe acha unaona Yesu alikuwa shida akiekelea watu mikono mimi hakuna nitafanya cut work nitatembea tu na kivuli yangu itakuwa kiponya watu so they were eager waiting for the holy spirit they are desperate of the holy spirit walikuwa wamesikia walikuwa wameona venye roho anaweza fanya they were desperate of the holy spirit amen na ndivyo walikuwa nauliza yesu hiyo ndio wakati utawala utarudi alikuwa anawaambia when the holy spirit comes you shall have dominion sema amen hata wakati kinapita anashikwa uliona venye pita alikuwa anashikwa alishikwa na four squad of soldiers askari waina pande hii askari waina pande hii askari squad ni kusema 16 pita alisitikishwa na askari 16 16 na sio hiyo tu 16 akawekwa jera 
na hakuwekwa tu jela hapo akaingizwa chupa cha dani sema amen na sio tu chupa cha dani akiwa huko dani akafukwa miguu na mikono na minyororo na minyororo ikufukwa tu ikashikishwa kwa ukuta ikakorogewa holy ghost sema amen lakini pita akiwa mahara pale alikuwa anajua practicals za Yesu haleluya alikuwa anajua ni kuwa na holy ghost kesho na chomoka kanisa lilijua siri they activated the power of the holy spirit the bible says the church prayed oh hallelujah fervently they knew maombi yao ilikuwa inasema holy spirit shuka kwa hiyo jera maana minyororo inaenda kukatika sema amen na bibi inasema usiku pita wakachomoka herode wanaambua ule jamaa muliweka ndani ali ako anahubiri gedhurai atake anahubiri wapi alafu paka asikari wenyewe wamefanyika washirika sema amen these are the mystery of the holy spirit nasema kanisa we have him he is with us lakini tunaka desperate tunaka watu ambeshindwa tunaka watu wakuhurumiwa tunaka tunaka watu ambao wanataka msaada we have him lakini shida ni ya kwapa hatujawahi jua juu yake jioni ya leo tutafanya practicals za holy spirit wale wako na kansa kujeni hapa by the mimi siogopagi because ninajua it's not me it is him hebu niwaambieni kama saa hii mgeweka mtu kule kwa room mmuereze atakapokuja hapa kila mtu akikuja hapa huyu mtu mwenye anakuja kwa room kila mtu atamea kapepe hapa Amen. Na sasa pasta aseme ndio wakati sasa tumukaribishe mwenye anaye kila mtu atakuwa expectant na mwenye kumeshesha watu kapepe atakuja akichua nimepewa nafasi nikafanye. Holy Spirit anagojia tumpe nafasi. Holy Spirit anakubali tumpe heshima yake. Holy Spirit anagojia tumutukuze tutagaze mahali kuna njia tuseme hapa patakuwa na njia tutagaze mahali kuna giza tuseme hapa kutakuwa na mwagaza ndio bibi inasema tusimuhusundisha roho mtakatifu amen unajua kuhusundisha the holy spirit ni wakati ambapo unaona hawezi ena sama suniachilie tu because holy spirit by the way shetani na, na mungu wote the airigo hawana mwili. Sio ni kweli. Shetani anaaga mwili. Lakini anatumiaga mwili ya watu kutekeleza makusudia. Naye Mungu hana mwili, anatumia mwili ya watu kutekeleza kusudi lake. Is that true? Bana asifiwe. So, what are, do you know why the kingdom of the Satan inakuwa imepanuka sana? Ni kwa sababu watu wa dunia wamekubalisha mwili yao itumiwe sana wenda kwa TikTok uangalia watu kama Liga mama Mokai kama wewe wa mama wanatikisa kiuno unashaka kwa TikTok sema hema ana maguruki sema hema yani watu wametumiwa na shetani hakuna kitu waezi fanya sikizeni ndio ni malizia tutabadilia jioni listen the season we are now the season about to cause i hakuna ijiri ya kubadilisha watu ijiri inafuatwa na mambo mawili watu wasikie na waone mambo mengine wasikie na waone shida ni ya kwamba sasa hii tuko na nguvu hizo lakini jinsi ya kuzifanyisha kazi ni kwa sababu hatujasikia that's why in the church today tunataka watu waelewe wajue kusudi la Mungu wajue chenye wanaweza fanya wajue walipokea nini wajue wanaweza fanya na nini ambacho walichokipokea sema amen hallo siku moja au msichana wangu huyo wa mwisho ako form 4 tulihamia mahali pastor afikiria anaweza kukupuka sitaki kusema ni wapi bwana asifiwe tulikuwa tunakaa mahali nyumba imekaa vibaya sana 
mende zilikuwa zinatembea mpaka zinaweza salimia hena mungu ni mende kubwa mzuri so zilikuwa zina so nikaambia my wife this is not the place we are supposed to live nikamwambia twende upande ule mwingine wa panapana nyumba huko ni elfu nyumba ya kwanza kuuza that time ilikuwa inalipishwa 18000 ingine 20000 on compound nikamwambia huku ndio tutaka amen hasa tukakaa baada ya one week pale kwa estate yetu tukaona mama amekuja ameingia one of the rooms zile viti alikuja nazo ni zile viti za elfu mia moja na kitu ukiangalia fridge huyo mtu tukaona si wa area yetu kulingana na vitu zenye yako nazo paka dispenser unajua sasa huko maji huwezi kunywa na dispenser na kunywa na gorogoro si unajua so mke wangu wakaanza kuongea na yeye akamwambia hapana eh mimi nimehama kwa sababu ile nyumba linakaa ilikuwa na kani nyumba kubwa self own compound kuna majini kuna mashetani zinatupo huko eh sasa ndio nimehama nimetoroka hiyo nyumba watu wanataka kulinyanganya sasa mke wangu akakuja akaniambia nikamuuliza eki wa ili yakani yenye tulikuwa kutafuta nyumba akamwambia basi hiyo ndio nyumba yetu sasa <laughs> amen amen huyo amehamishwa na mashetani sasa amen tukamwambia iko wapi akatupeleka amen tulipenda huko huko ndio tulikaa kulikuwa kwanza tuliingia huko mapapai zimeiva maidi ilikuwa kwa shamba kila kitu yani kila kitu ilikuwa tumeachiwa hapo kwa sababu sisi hakuna kisiasa shetani anatuuliza wow how how amen so ile kitu ilifanyika finally ya kwamba <laughs> kwa sababu watu ili hiyo wote walijua hiyo nyumba kila mtu alikuwa anataka kuuliza hao ni kina nani wameingia hiyo nyumba wanasikia ni pasta paka <laughs> pasta wengine wasema eh hey, ya ni mero ni mero ni mero so kwa sababu unajua wakati unafungua mlango wa uoga so it happened that one day nini oh, eh, usiku kukaa vitu zimeanza kufanya nini kutembea na kipanya kikaingia kikapitia neti ya msichana wangu. Amen. Tulipo amka asubuhi akaniambia dadi unajua asubuhi niliona kikitu. Lakini mimi sikiaita wewe. Ninajua mimi ni mtoto wa pasta na dadi yetu hakuna shetani anaweza tutisha hapa. Na atuondoki. Sema amen. Haleluya. The following day wakarusha vias vias ikaaguka kwa mrago. Vias. Kaambia mama chips Waru waru siyako ade si oke ne chips ile u Awa kurusha ikina wali jua Wa kerusha ikina chips inaanza kupikwa mara moja Bei tu ni ya mafuta Tulikaa hiyo nyumba mpaka wakati tulitosheka Semeni amen Nasema hivi wapendo wa kiamupi The season has come for us to liberate people Wacha twende mahali tunakaa sasa Tuambie we have the holy spirit. Kama Simeon alitoa pesa, anunue the holy spirit. Na sisi tuko na yeye. It is the high time sasa twende. Tuambie the holy spirit is upon me. Ameni paka mafuta ni wakati wa kutangaza. Kama kwenyu kuko na wachawi, waambie wakati umefika, wacha waachilie kwenyu. Ah! Sema holy spirit We are in the dispensation of perversion. Listen. Hii kizazi tuko naye ni cha mtu homosexual na lesbianism wanasomaga Bible. There is no way they can hear unaweza wabadilisha na neno. Nikwambia neno linasema kwamba hautarudi kuleta mchezo mbele za Bwana. Ainuliwe juu akokeshwe chini. Au mero kuukorwa homosexual. Akiamuka hivi anasema niko wapi? Naambia uko kwa chaji. Sema amen. Lakini unakuta watu wamejazwa Holy Spirit. Wanane na Holy Spirit si wa kuongea na lugha. Ambia jirani yako, hii kuzati watu wanasema unajua nimejazwa rima kanta rama na watu wa rima kanta wanapanga laini pasta kuopewa. Bibi inasema those who believe 
in my name this sign shall follow them they shall lay the hands on the sick the sick shall recover they shall speak a new language the holy ghost Niko naambia watu sikizeni wale watu mmesoea ndoto na najua hapa mko wengi sana. Sasa hii hata mko okay na nyinyi mnaongea shagwa na ndoto. Listen. Bibi inasema in the last days I shall pour out my spirit. Na Bibi inasema namna gani? Wase wataota ndoto. Vijana wataona maono. Hard mates they shall prophesy. It is the invocation ya Roho Mtakatifu inafanya watu wote toto ambayo inaleta utukufu kwa Mungu. Sasa maana kuna ministry za kuinterpret toto maana wa Kristo. Toto zisizo za Holy Spirit ni za mwili. Ecclesiastes inasema watu huota kwa sababu ya kazi zenye wamefanya mchana mzima. Sema hivi. <laughs> Sidi bibi inasema. So saa hii wacha kuota hiyo toto uote kiroto ya ya kukopoa familia yenu yani ukua usiku kama Paul bibiria sema anaota anaona akiitwa Makedonia amuka eda Makedonia ndoto za deliverance ndoto za kufungua jamii sio ndoto za kukipishwa na upwa sio ndoto za kumeswa na samaki wewe sio jona saimia mwenza kwa mwambie umekaa kanisa miaka ngapi Muulize umekaa kanisa miaka ngapi? Watu wakilia unalia pamoja na wao. Watu wakipanga laini kuombewa na mshuma na wao unapaga laini. Watu wa <laughs> Sema hivi. Nilienda Crusade Tanzania. Wajama wakakuja Crusade ati wametumwa kutoka Tanga wakapanga laini hapo. When I was preaching the power came. Ture tumi jamaa tuliinuliwa juu tukaogeshwa chini unajua kitu ilifanyika kwa hiyo muji transformer ilikuwa size kama hapa kutoka chini ikapasuka yote ikatoka moto so walipokuja kwa revival wakasema yani at hizo kufu ndio zilipasua yeye venye zilitoka <laughs> zilipasua baka transformer ya stima sema amen nikawaambia asanti mulipasua transformer lakini ya Mungu pasua pastor Peter Sema ibere. Yaani nguvu sina za pasua transformer. Lakini asiwezi kuuza wewe. Nguvu za giza zinaweza fanya mambo mengine kwa watu wengine, lakini kwako nasema kwako, nasema kwako, nasema kwako. Hakuna kitu kinaweza fanyika. Natangaza kaka jina la Yesu, Roho wa Bwana ako juu yako. Amekupaka mafuta ufungue wenye wamefugwa utagasa uhuru wao Usa jirani yako mwambie wewe Sasa mwambie ile vitu ulikuwa unaogopa Waja kusiogea sasa Hata bibi inasema mtapokea lugha mpya which is that language Sio yenye athiri mazaika new language that is contrary to what is happening New language wakati watu wote wanafuga biashara dio biashara zetu zinaetelea that is our language bibi inasema when people are weak our language we say we are strong when people are poor our language is we are rich oh hallelujah when inasema kwamba inasema kana mna nani wakati kuna giza wakati kuna casting down our language is tunasimama sema amen natangaza mbadilishwe ruga sasa na sio ruga tu ya kawaida ya mama yako ni ruga ya roho takatifu maana roho wa Mungu ajui kushitwa ajui giza ajui kansa ajui diabetes oh sharaka tana mayana sema amen niliwaambia juice hapa tumeenda huko kia mwaki kia kia ga kia tukahubiri mazishi ilikuwa mtu tajiri sana amen tulipohubiri watu waliokoka watu walikuwa na shuka huko juu wakikuja wakiokoka nikaambia watu kwa hii mazishi nitawaupea mpone unajua shida yenu kwa sababu amjui mko na the holy spirit hata ukiitwa mudhaiga umepoa opportunity listen to me wale mnafanya biashara 
tunawatuma kama agent. Unaona venye agent wa shetani wanatumagwa. Tunawatuma kama agent. Sema agent. Ah, sema amen. Mwarisha babu akikuja hapa as an agent anajilipua. Sema amen. Na nyinyi saa hii tunawatuma. Tunawafuka neno la Mungu. Muko na bomu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Hali ya muadhie unalipuka. Oh, haleluya. Kwa kikundi cha wa mama ile inaitagwa Maria Suguka Mere go round ukiingia kwa hiyo Mere go round unajipasua watu wanaokoka hata hii December wakati mnaenda kwa nyupani tunawatuma kama agent Sema amen agent unajiripua kwenu wakati watu wanasema baba yetu alia biguni jina nina nao unasema rikanta rabazaka wanasikia mkono imetikika aliza nike kiradhi na abele dewu <laughs> nimekuja mahala hapa nasema kaka china la yesu kama simioni alichua udhamana wa the holy spirit he was ready to pay money we can pay the price the price of the holy spirit is to walk in righteousness he is called holy spirit he needs holiness Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, anaitaji utakatifu, ukikana utakatifu utatebea na the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit ni roho wa maopi, you become a prayerful person. But your praise and worship. By the way, tuko na conference December. Conference kubwa pastor atawaambia, tunaifanya pale OJ, nafanya kwa mkutano wa tent, tent kubwa sana naleta waibaji i have a team kwa kayanja they came from kayanja church mimi nimeelewa uko uganda sana mahali ukienda kwa kayanja kuna room kama hii iko na miti ya viwete imejaa sema amen wanaanza kama ombi ya 7 times 7 seven times 70 kuanzia january mpaka mwezi wa saba kila siku jioni na watu wamejaa kwa hiyo uwanja ni watu 10000 sema amen <laughs> Wacha hivi tu kwa maombi ya dakika 2. Holy Spirit ni roho wa maombi. Ni roho wa maombi. Sema roho ni Holy Spirit. Ni roho wa maombi. Sema amen. Kama wewe hauwezi ukaoba Saidi ya saa moja ya Yesu alisema, maneno ya Holy Spirit na nguvu zake sawa. And I touch you soak yourself in prayer. Holy Spirit is of the word. Hasa nawaambia wale ambao mmeona kwa posters kwa mtandao kuna dada anakuja kwa hiyo conference yeye ndiye alikuwa anaibisha ule mkutano wa Benihin wakati ulikuwa kule Kampala huyo mwanamke wanakuwa na team wako naye lakini huyo mwingine akuji huyo mwingine mkienda kwa mikutano tumeenda nao mikutano kadhaa mpaka mmekaa hivi pasta mdomo yake huwa inafanya hivyo yani unatebea tu kwa barabaka kwa matatu midomo tu sasa ni kwani namuangalia yani aliopa mpaka midomo mkono mdomo ina vibrate peke yake huyo mtu tulienda mkutano mmoja ya kayanja ilikuwa na watu kama 1300 alipoa tu microphone hivi hivi tu kusema haleluya sentence kabla ishe watu 10 wako chini amen lakini wewe ni wa praise and worship Haleluya, wadada, haleluya. Munakaje kama ovacado mwezi wa sita. Haleluya. Munakaje kama mume meza taripo. Ibuwe ni bwana. Inua mikono juu zunguka. Ah! Pawa imejanda ndani yako. Nasema hiyo ndio kazi ya the Holy Ghost. Unasimama unahubiri chini. Vitu inafanyika. Huo jamaa ali aliipa siku ingine tukaenda mkutano wa adepo ye. ule adepo yako na kanisa ya 3 km square yani kwa sia githurai mpaka kipo na kurudi hivi church wacha yenyu church hiyo sema alituriada mkutano tulikuwa pastors kama 1400 ako na watu wa kucheza trumpet amen wakashika trumpet <laughs> yani waliipa this is my song Mahese vya go na trumpet as yani sauti yao peke yake ikachafua hewa 
every pastor was on the knees. So many amen. And I thank God, we have opportunity. Ya iyo diyo group yetu. Wanakuja diseba hii. Kucheni kwa revival jioni. Tulikuja na uyo muyo madam. Giri giri. Kanisa na solid rock. One worship. Ilikuwa na siku ya mwishu. Utukufu ukaja hori ya watu wa rufutatu na kitu. The glory was everywhere. Watu wakaanza kupona. Sahi tunokea juwe yu mkutano. They are almost 30 days praying for the conference. Wakiombea yu mkutano. Ninaamini ochei. Kucheni na virema. Kucheni na vipofu. Iyo wiki. We are believing to see God doing it in Jesus name. Aha. Amusemi amen. That is the reality. That's what we are praying. The church must come to the level. Holy Spirit. Kama mchawi ya kona siri. Anaripa pesa apokelo mtakatifu. Na sisi tukona yeye. Lazima tuwaza kumuchochea. Lazima tuwaza kumuchochea. Nasema tuwaza kumuchochea. Uko mali ni ubiri maziji mama moja aliyamini. Alikuwa na sukari, imekaa, imeshidikana. That of seventh, imeshidikana. Haka amini kwa mazishi, haka pona. Mtoto wake ni daktari. Haka muambia, nimeopewa na uyo pasta, nimepona. Haka abuwa mami wale kako nyu wadawa, utakufa. Wakaenda wakapi masuka, ikarudi six. Ilikuwa, ilikuwa ni muwezi wa, it is eight months. Sio za hii, eight months. Tango tuwambe na uyo mama. Eight months. Wakapima. Wakapima. Two weeks, three weeks. Nimekua na kesha huko kiga. Alikuja na mume wake. Watu wamekuja kwa kanisa. Walipona kwa posta ni nakuja. Wakasema. Mpaka last week. Nilipimwa diyo ni kuche ni tohu shuda. Bado hiko sita. Sema ime. Yani sukari. Kansa. Imeua watu. But we have the Holy Spirit. Nasema nyinyi mukona uyo roho. You only need to activate them. Wale muko hapa jioni. Itakuwa ni the season of the Holy Spirit. Tutamuachia ma. Jioni ya kuna kumupiri. We shall worship and worship. Kucheni na wagochua. Kucheni mwenye muko na shita. We shall allow him. He is called the Holy Spirit. Simama kwa migu uzako inuwa mikono zako mpia. Mushukuru Holy Spirit. Wajana na mungu. Mushukuru tu Holy Spirit. Just tell him Holy Spirit, I thank you. Mwambia Holy Spirit, I thank you. Mwambia Holy Spirit, I thank you. Mwambia Holy Spirit, I thank you. Oh, shalakata na bazaka rabashanda. Lobo zeka. Jioni ya leo watu watajazo another Holy Spirit. Jioni ya leo watu watafanyo mabomegi. Lakini uko mara hapa unasema, Pastor, I cannot wait. There is a miracle I need in my life. There is something I'm believing for. As I make this prayer, saki utoke hapa pere. As I make this prayer, may you encounter this power. May you encounter this power. Kutana na isi kufu katika jina na Yesu Christu. Papa kaka jina na Yesu. Nina kuopa kwa achiri ya utata Kwa achiri ya utu Chochoto na itaji nuwa mkono wako chu In the name of Jesus Thank you for those hands Father in Jesus name I pray For these people my God I'm praying over their lives I'm praying to over king of glory That the power of the Holy Spirit They shall encounter him Na funcha nguvuzote za giza Nguvuzote za maradhi na magonjo Wacha ziondoke sasa Wacha ziondoke sasa Maria kuna jia Wacha pawe na jia Na isi nguvu zake zimeshuka Mara hapa Kwa zia kure nyuma kira mahali The glory of God is in this place Touch your people Lord Touch your people Jehovah God Touch their lives Listen Hakuna kitu Ro mtakatifu anachuki you are here, you are a sinner. Ujawai kubali Yesu, wafanyike buwana na mwakozi wa maisha hako. Ama ulikuwa umeokoka, ukarudi nyuma. Inuwa tu mkono wako haraka juu. You are a backslider. Ulikuwa umeokoka, ukarudi nyuma. Inuwa mkono wako juu. Ulikuwa umeokoka, ukarudi nyuma. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Nani mwikine? Nani mwikine? Ulikuwa umeokoka, ukarudi nyuma. Kaka china na Yesu. Just come, my sister, kuja. Nani mwikine? Nani mwikine? Nani mwikine? 
ama hujawahi peana maisha yako kwa Yesu kabisa hata siku moja inua mkono juu uopa uaibishe shetani kaka china na Yesu ulikuwa umeokoka ukarudi nyumbani nasikia kwamba kuna wengi unajua mahali roho mtakatifu ndio huwa naokea unajua kabisa hata saa hii Yesu akija utaingia biguni kwa sababu ya maisha yako inua mkono wako juu I'll pray with you in Jesus name kuna mwingine kuna mwingine Oh Jesus we thank you Jehovah Lord. Wacha tuombe na udada kaka jina la Yesu. Father in Jesus name. Rudia maombi ya nyuma sema Bwana Yesu nimekukubali. Fanyike Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu kuanzia leo. Nimefungua moyo wangu Roho Mtakatifu shuka juu yangu. Funja nguvu zote za giza, ushawishi wa kishetani juu ya maisha yangu. Hauna uwezo kuanzia leo nimeokoka 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 in Jesus name Father I pray for my sister that is the anointing and the grace to stand forever and evermore in Jesus name Amen God bless you